What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode 1 of my brand new series, Let's Play Ultimate Team. In this series we'll be starting from the bottom and building our way up to having several exceptional teams with no use of buying coins or using FIFA points. However, if you're the type of person that doesn't have time to play as many games as me or others or trade as me or others, for the cheapest FIFA Ultimate Team 14 coins, check out cheapfootcoins.co.uk for a quick and reliable service. Now, before we get into the start of the game, I need to let you guys know that I'll be playing this series as if you are brand new to FIFA, so if I give out hints and tips that you already know about, please forgive me. I will also be showing you guys the best possible way to build your ultimate team with clever coin tricks, gameplay hints and simple effective trading methods. However, if you have some advice for me that I can pass on that I haven't already mentioned, let me know in the comment section below. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to create your brand new ultimate team club. Of course, some of you may already have uh, clubs from before, some of you may have played this game in 13, 12, 11, 10 and FIFA 09. But for some of you, this may be brand new for FIFA 14. So go ahead and create your club, skip all the initial ball crap. You pick a player, then you just press start and it will, or press back and it will allow you to skip all the crap and you'll eventually find yourself with your starter pack team. Now once again, just skip this guys and uh, the first thing you'll be offered to do is to change your club name. Now I'm going to change my club name and I suggest you guys change it to something that you're going to enjoy. Of course my club name is going to be the Napoleons because that's who we are. We're going to build this team up to be one of the best foot clubs you have ever seen. So eventually I do manage to get Napoleon in there. It's a bit of a handful to put in when you're using a controller for the for the uh, keyboard rather than an actual keyboard for it but there we have the napoleons and if i see any napoleon club names out there i salute you guys so again we go into the store some of you will have loyalty packs some of you will have season ticket packs and some of you will have special edition packs this is a brand new account for me where i have none of those so i just get one bonus pack which some of you may also just get and with these players all you really want to do is at this stage is store them to the club you don't want to do anything else at this stage this is just building into an ultimate team and then what you want to do you see the ultimate team catalog here right so with this there are coin bonuses obviously i'm level one some of you may be higher than level one now what i want you guys to do is go and get a friend of yours to send you because you can gift these now i want want them to gift you these reward boosts but i want them to gift them to you with the biggest one first so they need to send you the 10 times 1000 coins and the 15 times 1000 coin ones first if they've got them and the 5,000 ones times 1,000 coins first and then do the 200 ones after. This is basically going to give you around 50 to 60 games where you're going to get an extra coin boost and when you gift them to someone it costs half the amount of FCC points as if you bought them for yourself. Also if you're a low level as like I am you can see if somebody gifts them to you at a higher level you can still get them if they're gifted to you. So work with your friends on this one guys and gift each other these coin boosts because they're very very important for the start of the game. The next thing we're going to be doing is going to play team of the week again I suggest you guys do this this is something that absolutely has to be done simply because it's a manager task and if you want to get that free gold pack you're gonna to have to complete those manager tasks I go in there against it on amateur because hey who really wants to play against the team of the week and lose it'd be embarrassing if you lost against these guys I actually had uh, my full gold BPL team where I, I won only 6-2 against them on my other account so I actually conceded two goals against an amateur team of the week team but um, yeah, just go ahead and go on there, guys. It's really, really easy to beat them. You can literally just walk past them, even with your bronze team with no chem. Like this start, this team that I'm using in this game is the starter pack team, however it came. Like I didn't change anything. I didn't change any positions around. I just left it as it was. And if you guys want to change them around, then go ahead. But don't use your gold players here, guys. Just use the bronze players that you're going to end up discarding because they're worthless. And uh, they in, in these offline games, it's real easy. And what you'll get here at the end of this game, the end of the Team of the Week game, obviously I picked up a big win there. The goals are very easy to come by. I picked up 1,600, almost 1,700 coins. That EASFC coin boost of 1,000 coins is awesome. The Team of the Week challenge bonus of 150 coins is also awesome. And then when you come out of this, guys, I want you to go into the offline tournament, the single-player tournament, and go and pick the first tournament that's available. And that is the Starter Cup. The reason why we're going to be doing a starter cup is because you get a consumables pack or a club, like a club pack at the end. And that's very important again to the manager task. Now, once again, the only person I change here is a striker that got injured and I put a different striker in for him. But I'm using these uh, bronze players in generally. And the reason why I'm using these is because they're discards. And as you can see there, I picked up a 6 0 win. I don't want to show you the goals of offline. I picked up a 6 0 win. But more importantly, at the end of this game, I picked up a big amount of coins again. So we're going to be going into the third game now with another 1,400. 
166 coins in the bank. And uh, yeah, these these are easy. Look at that. 23 shots, 13 on target. They had none. It, it's real easy, this tournament. It's all amateur. And that's why you use these bronze players. Because I didn't put fitness cards on them. I didn't put contracts on them. The starter pack these days, guys, have 45 contracts rather than just the seven from before. And uh, I go into the quarterfinal here, guys, against another team. And I'm just showing you the last goal here to show you that, hey, it's really, really easy to beat these teams. You can even score a couple of goals and then just put your control down and, and do, you know, surf the internet or something. Maybe watching a Penthes video whilst you're waiting for the clock to tick down. Because, guys, it's so easy to beat these guys. So we pick up another win here, guys. A 3-0 win. Yep, it's nothing special at this stage. We've, we've got three wins and they've all been against AI. But it's important to what we're looking to get to in the future. So these coin bonuses that we get to, the, these you know, all these coins we're picking up are really, really important at this stage. Another easy, easy win. Another 3-0 win there and 1,457 more coins in the bank. And once we come out of this game, guys, as we come to the end of this episode, we're going to be looking at the club at the current state it's in and we're still in the same stage as where we were when we first started the club where we have the exact same team we haven't bought a single player yet we haven't improved the squad at all but we've got three wins and more importantly we've got 5,000 coins that's going to be very very important as the episodes go on I suggest you guys start your club in this manner it will be very helpful and if you wait for the next episode guys um, I'll show you why even more so that it'll be very helpful now if you want the next episode today guys we'll look to get 6,000 likes on this video by around nine o'clock for this for the next episode today if not then uh, i'll put up this the next episode for tomorrow um, but i'll be uploading this once per day generally and then every time it hits 6,000 likes i'll upload a bonus episode for you guys so it depends how much you want to see it but i want to ask you guys a question in the comment section guys who is the best player you got in your starter pack for when you eventually get fifa 14 because the uh, the starter packs throw in three goal players and some people have got some pretty decent of the non-rare goal players that are available so who is your best player in your starter pack leave that in the comment section leave a like on the video if you enjoyed guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time peace